continued to grow in wisdom were the first words I saw upon walking through Harvard's gates. Coming from a well-known Boston public school just across the river and growing up in Harvard's neighborhood, I was certain I knew what that meant. I also believed that I knew everything about myself. Answers to what groups on campus I wanted to join, how I wanted to spend my time, and who I wanted to be professionally already found. I went from sitting on the second floor of the Science Center, poring over P sets in the life sciences, to delving into Widener shelves and archives, searching for psychological frameworks to describe how one finds meaning in life. I had been wrong about myself, on all accounts. Harvard taught me not only to question my assumptions and convictions about myself and the world, but also to discern the framework through which I held them. It tore me to the core and brought me down intellectually and psychologically, only to teach me about my own strength and to remold me, bringing me a few steps closer to who I am to become. In that process, I felt compassion and kindness in the many hands of professors and friends alike that were extended towards me. For that, I will always be grateful.